Here we have Luna versus the dollar symbol. Luna, actually. I think it's Terra Luna is the real name. Anyways, uh, this one being requested by Cole Bashor of our lovely community. He is um, looking at a daily and weekly, and he wants to... Uh, and he wants to understand the assumption or with the assumption that supply will drop by, by basically 50% over the next three to four months. Okay, so when you have something like that, which is public knowledge, so you know that supply will drop by 50% over the next three to four months. That means that that information is freely available, unless if you are an insider, uh, which you probably are not because you literally just gave everyone else that information. So you probably did not do that. And I imagine that that they, you know, it's like, it's like a stated thing, like you know, or people know about Luna uh, dropping off that supply. Well, those sorts of things are getting priced in and you can see that. And I imagine they probably made that announcement somewhere over here because this thing just went absolutely fucking lunar for Luna uh, when Bitcoin and most, uh, you know, and most things in this market were still trading, you know, more or less sideways within that uh, general range. This thing was actually breaking out around its prior time highs from what I recall. Anyways, uh, with that in mind, that doesn't really change the general analysis here because it's still, you know, one of the best charts that we have seen uh, certainly today. And if we do go into the daily, is this one getting extended? Uh, actually, no, it's having a decently healthy pullback right here down to the 10 simple. You will see pullbacks around there on very, very strong rallies. And if we do close anywhere here or higher by end of day, AP may start time, we will actually have hidden bullish divergence on the daily RSI. Now this hidden bullish divergence is coming in at a very high level uh, to be fair but uh, which would probably doesn't imply that you know this rally is going to like absolutely fucking rip once again before playing out a decent pullback but I do suspect that you have more continuation before a general pullback here anyways weekly powerful as fuck wouldn't be surprised to see this thing retest the prior time high at 35 bucks and probably make new all-time highs maybe not this month but probably into September monthly I suspect is looking absolutely phenomenal for September as well but I do think after you get a little bit more short-term continuation here which you do have a nice obvious consolidation on the short-term time frames which I know that you didn't ask for but it's actually a little more obvious right here you got multiple drafts of hidden bullish evidence right into this area right here and you can see that volatility is actually contracting so this is a bit of a consolidation we're looking at a range between here and here and I don't really have anything bearish say about Luna, especially as long as above 26 and a half bucks on the short term time frames. And I would be looking for it to pop back up somewhere around about 30 and a half uh, first before anything else. And then if you can start to close four hour deals above that level, I would look for it to continue on with the general rally here, which we can start to uh, aggregate some more targets as well. Short term would be about 33 and a half to 34 bucks. And then long term, again, long term, not today, not not tomorrow, but probably into September would be somewhere around probably around 40 bucks, actually 40 to 50 bucks, uh, maybe more long term for 50, but 40 bucks. Uh, uh, you know, may, may, maybe in September, October region. Anyways, as far as momentum goes, I'm curious. Oh, no, we should also look at the moons there too. No, just kidding. Um, but Luna over here. Uh, what can we see right here? Daily stokes are down. So again, I, I do think that it probably consolidates in this short term time frames a little bit more. Weekly is going to obviously be very, very good. 1171, the magical number right there, which is uh, very impressive and four hours going to show 2775 so short term a little bit of upside however i would be looking for a bit more sideways that's completely fine as long as it does not crack back down below 26 and a half bucks and then the general continuation into uh probably into um probably in september anyways hopefully that was helpful sir and there you go